Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of Studio 64. In this episode, we are showcasing another Bentley variant from the 2021 release of Mini GT. The Continental GT 2020 GP Ice Race variant. But first, while we unwrap the box, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing by clicking the Studio 64 logo on the bottom lower right corner of your screen. A brief background on this car. This customized Continental GT was raced during the famous GP Ice race in Zellum C, Austria. It was driven by Junior World Rally Championship driver Katie Munings of Great Britain. This customized GT is powered by a W12 twin turbocharged TSI engine, which produced 626 brake horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. This was Bentley's first appearance in the GP Ice race. And here it is. First impression out of the box would be that it's quite eye-catching. The color scheme of sky blue and black is very contrasty, complemented with the mountain ice caps graphic design on the livery. We also have here a semblance of the light bars inside the grille. Of course, the more obvious addition to this casting is this roof rack with the ski accessories and four light bars on it, which we'll have a closer look later. True to Mini GT standards, wheels roll smoothly. The white paint finish on this rear end completes the ice theme look. The stance of this casting seems right, with enough ground clearance. This after all, is similar to a rally car. Mini GT certainly did an awesome job replicating the livery from the real car. The artwork, the sponsors, and even the driver's name. Katie Munnings. This livery by the way, has the same livery artwork with the 2019 Continental GT Pikes Peak International Hill Climb version. Other tampos on this casting are clear, accurate and well applied. Check it out! Like in the 2019 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb version, this variant also has a dual color schemed rims, complemented by a Bentley center cap. The tires are made of rubber, though I kinda hoped it would have some semblance of spikes on the treads. Just wishful thinking I guess. Side mirrors are made of rubber with a glossy black finish. No reflective insert though. Moving to the front end, we see a familiar design, from our past review of the Continental GT St. James version. We have the plastic headlight inserts, and the clean grille detail. What's new is this white strip, which resemble the light bar inside the grille. I did notice some issues though. See the nicks on the paint? Hmm. Moving to the rear end, we still have the red plastic inserts as tail lights. Pretty clean and well installed. The car plate number is a nice touch. The signature touch on this casting is this roof rack. It has these set of skiing equipment. It's made of plastic, and is quite detailed too. Though it would have been nice if there's a touch of color. The roof rack also carries four mini light bars. It's painted silver on the face, indicating the lenses of the light bar. The interior is blacked out. Nothing much can be seen except for the gear knob and the steering wheel. And some protrusions resembling switches. Base is made of metal, with some under chassis detail. It is secured to the body with two screws. And there you have it. The Bentley Continental GT 2020 GP Ice Race Edition by Mini GT. A really nice addition to the Mini GT, Bentley Continental Series. I believe this is my first ice racing die cast car in my collection. Well, I can't even think of another, 164th scaled ice race car die cast. 
That alone makes this car very collectible, if in the event the looks and pedigree of this car does not appeal to you. However, it does have some quality control issues with the paint nicks on the front end bumper. But I'm sure, not all of these castings will have the same issue. Overall, this is a very nice casting from Mini GT. Detailed accurately to the real car. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please do hit the like button and click on the subscribe button for more 164th scale diecast videos.